Hello, my ninjas, and welcome back. We've got something a little bit different today. This is Booster Gold, a character from the DC Multiverse Miniatures game. This model was provided uh, and is being painted for Patreon supporter Jason. Thank you very much, Jason. And uh, we're going to start. Uh, Booster Gold is going to use basically two colors for the uniform. The first is Ian and Yellow, uh, and the second is going to be Ultramarines Blue. We are going to use uh, um, Gillum and Flesh with uh, Contrast Medium for the skin. And I believe we use Skeleton Horde, but I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll check <laughs> for the hair. So basically, we're we're just going over the yellow parts uh, in and in yellow. And we want to make sure that where the pooling happens, and that's where it's going to appear the most orange... Where the pooling happened is at the definition edges of the costume, creases, wrinkles, and of course, where the muscles are. Let the orange provide the natural shadow, muscle definition along the legs, along the chest, and so forth. I want to point out here that I am using one of the smaller brushes in my collection. I do normally start with a very large brush, but there's a lot of tiny details on this figure, and it's a finer figure than a lot of the Games Workshop offerings and even the Monster Apocalypse offerings uh, I've been working on up to this point. So uh, I wanted to go with a tiny brush that would allow me a tremendous amount of control when it got to the star shape, the points, the, the very tiny details around the collar of uh, Mr. Mr. Boost, Mr. Booster, Mr. Gold, whatever. So we've given that yellow a chance to dry, and it's time for us to come in with Ultramarines Blue. Uh, I almost went with Leviathan Blue for this, because I know he does carry kind of a dark blue. Uh, it's definitely darker than a Talisar, and in the end, I'm so glad Ultramarines Blue was precisely the right color for Booster Gold's blue. Uh, just makes me extremely happy. So we're, again, using a very fine tip brush to make sure we get the details just right. We do want to make sure... Uh, we're getting in there with uh, uh, leaving the shadows where there should be shadows and, and the surface highlighting. Uh, and it can be a lot easier to control uh, on these very tiny surfaces with this very tiny brush just to make sure that it pools and, and swirls and moves the way you want it to. Contrast paint is a very thick medium and it's very interesting to work with as a result. Uh, um, this represents about five months of painting for me, this being somewhere in December at this point. I'm not exactly sure when this particular video will be made live, uh, but I've been working on this stuff for quite a while and, and I've gotten quite a hand on it. And I have found when I'm working with this delicate precision, the smaller brushes help, 
but I can still load up the brush enough to get that pooling. Look, you can see here, even on the back, where there's not a lot of muscle definition on him, there's still pooling in the creases and crevices in the back like there should be. There's pooling up against the edges of the yellow. There's pooling on the biceps. Um, and that's what's important to give us that, that the contrast effect, in fact. Uh, you can see it there on the abs as well when I spin them around and you can see the front. Uh, and then at this point, it's basically just doing the hands and the boots and a little bit of ultramarine blue around this strange head piece he wears that lets his hair and face be exposed. I'm not entirely sure about it, but there it is. So there's me being completely wrong. I said at the beginning we were going to use Skeleton Horde for the hair. Obviously, I have used Agaros Dunes. Um, I, do work, I do the voiceover separately from the, the painting, and unfortunately I don't have my notes from uh, uh, when I painted this, so I was trying to go off of memory there. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of Agaros Dunes in the hair, and that makes it beautiful sandy brown. Uh, and then we're going to do the flesh. We're going to do Contrast Medium. And we're going to go over that with Gillum and Flesh. Thank you. 
I want to thank you, my ninjas, for joining us again. I had a great time. This has definitely been a change of pace, uh, and I've really been excited to do this DC model, and I'm looking forward to being able to do more things. Thank you, Jason, for your Patreon support. Uh, I hope by the time this video goes live, you should have your this model in your possession. Uh, if you do want to support us on Patreon, that's patreon.com slash 7ninjas. And just a dollar a month makes a big difference. I've been able to buy uh, the audio equipment I'm using, uh, the software I'm using, a new camera. I'm going to be getting a 4K camera uh, and just general improvements as well as buying the actual models we use on these videos. Otherwise, I want to leave a like if you like this content. It shows me that you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more things like this. And leave a comment below if there's something specific you'd like to see in the future. This has been 7 Ninja Studios, helping you take your bottles from gray to great.